Hello and welcome back to Reddit Insanity number 14. I'm Michael. I'm oh, Noe. And we are the Knights of Entertainment. Uh, we got some more funny Reddit for you today. Uh, Noe actually has one for you guys though. Oh, first. I have a very small one. <laughs> it's very short. So uh, 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 this guy wrote, uh, some raw chicken touched my... Uh, it's a, he's a male 18, oh, seen, uh, <laughs> male 18 penis. Can I get an infection from this? <laughs> So he says, so I was cooking just now, and I was cooking a whole chicken, and also I was at home, so I was naked. Basically, as I was... <laughs> Let me start over. <clears throat> so I was cooking just now, and I was cooking a whole chicken, and also I was at home, so I was naked. Basically, as I was seasoning the chicken, I dropped it, and it fell in between me and the counter, and got caught, like, between the counter and my penis, so, like, my penis was smushed into it because I tried to stop this chicken from falling. <clears throat> and it just... And just uh, didn't think so. I pushed my hip forward. So basically, he caught it with his dick. He wasn't thinking, so he just started ramming his dick into it. Basically, this man fucked his chicken. <laughs> A chicken cutlet. And he wants to know if he got an infection from it. <laughs> he got <did> salmonella. <laughs> and one of the comments later said, like, that's a lot of words for saying I fucked a chicken. <laughs> I've seen that one earlier. Oh, you saw it? Man. So this this 18, you just decided to just to, uh, just to bang a chicken. Yeah. Like he, he So basically what really happened is he got one of those raw chickens yeah. and fucked it. And then he wants to know if he's gonna get something from it after. First of all, he needs to go to therapy or something. There's that's like fucking disgusting. Yes it is. I mean that's like I mean uh, <laughs> <laughs> that is the grossest shit. You, you mean you don't want to bang the cavity of a dead chicken? No. <laughs> God. Like I fucking like American Pie where he's banging that pie. I mean that's more sanitary than yeah, a chicken. Yeah, than a fucking chicken. Now I bang this whole pie pie. <laughs> Chicken pop pie. Chicken pop I don't know. It was just like I read it and I could not fucking believe it. And he's trying so hard to get us to like, oh, and I just, I caught it with like the I fact caught that it with my dick. I caught it with between the, my dick and that, that uh, counter. And I, I wasn't thinking. I just went, bow. Went ball steep. It's like, just admit your disgustingness. Yeah, like you go to a doctor. Tell like, them. like, obviously, we know. You fucked it. Like when people say, like, oh, I'm, I'm, I got, my friend has this infection and he's. It's like, okay, you have an infection. Like, so you have an infection. Like, you know, like, the, the doctors are not going to believe your bullshit. Why are you here if your friend is sick? Well, they're embarrassed to ask. Well, eh. it's like, okay, so you're embarrassed to ask. Basically. Okay. <laughs> so again, don't fuck a chicken. Yeah. Please, for the love of God, don't. Live or dead. <laughs> it's sad because you have to add that. In the- <laughs> The little bit of asterisk right there. Well, the people are fucking alive or <laughs> fucking people are disgusting. And that's how we got AIDS. Maybe. Well, who knows? <laughs> I licked a I licked a gorilla turd. Well, you've heard that story of the zookeeper and that monkey, haven't you? Yeah, but uh, who knows? You know what monkey I'm talking about, though, right? The one that swallowed something that it should know, so he sat there and kept licking its asshole until it shit. No, that's gross too. Yeah. So he rimmed a monkey until it finally. Hey, my fucking business. <laughs> I practice safe sex. <laughs> you nasty motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> and to think like that man, like, wh- whoever got it first, right? Whatever they did to get it, that person is a vile human being. Yes, that I it, agree. Has, it has affected the entire human populace, which are fucking disgusting habits, you sick bastard. Yeah. <laughs> there are people suffering with HIV and AIDS for the rest of their life because some son of a bitch. They fucked a goat. Or whatever, whatever the fuck that person did. It's fucking, God, it makes me mad, actually. <laughs> Yep. Uh, yeah, and then the last person ate a bat, supposedly. So ate a bat or fucked a bat like Randy Marsh, who knows? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Multiple times. All three are going to lie to you. That's whatever the meme told me just now. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're gonna change topic slightly. <laughs> From fucking a chicken. <laughs> to fucking a dog. <laughs> oh, no. Jesus. <laughs> this one's Ow. Pretty- I don't know why I said that. I just ruined my day. <laughs> this one's by Universal Winter. This person puts, I am honestly quite shocked that it happened, but also not at the same time. Oh, God. What, do you fuck a chicken, too? <laughs> no. <laughs> that, that wasn't a shock to the dude. He'd been to do that. 
He could have banged a pillowcase or something, you nasty, or in between a, in between a mattress or something normal, ish. You could have, you could have banged a pile of clothes, but a fucking raw chicken, you nasty son of a bitch. <laughs> like one of that salmonella slime. That's all that was. <laughs> but this person puts before I begin, I'm a 20 year old college student with Asian roots. Uh, this is important to the story. Oh, but the fact that this matter to the yeah. story. So, there's a high school I have to walk past to get to my bus stop, and an orientation for new exchange students was going on out front. I already knew this was uh, happening since the sign outside was displayed for about a week. I casually walk by as usual, but I hear a voice yelling, Hey you, where do you think you're going? I paused for a split second and continued walking along, thinking it was for somebody else. Then again, hey, you have to listen to your teachers. Get back here. I now turn around to look at a lady leading the orientation, was furiously waving her hands at me, and then yelled again, come on, you're holding up the group. I then responded, I don't go to the school. They proceeded to walk back to my stop. As I see my bus approaching from a distance, I try to sprint to make it, but then I feel her hand grab me from behind. The fast she was woman. fast. Yeah, but they, they <laughs> caught up to him quick as fuck. And then began to berate me that I uh, don't just get to ditch the school here. I guess she didn't hear me the first time, so I grabbed my student ID for college to show her and told her again, I'm not a student there. As this happened, the bus passed us by since uh, I wasn't at the bus stop. She made me miss my damn bus. She kind of just chuckled about it uh, and I half-heartedly apologized for it before turning, uh, returning back to her group. At that point, I had to pay $30 for an Uber just to get to school. This bus only comes by once an hour. Damn. It's like, ah, oh, so just because I'm Asian, huh? I'm part of the exchange program. I guess that's what she was thinking. Who knows? How young does this guy look? I mean, damn. Well, he's 20. By the way, he was 12. <laughs> uh, next one is by Flagstaff. It says, I go uh, to a really nice fitness club. It's worth it because they have a huge indoor playground and daycare is included. Lately, my two-year-old has been dealing with some major separation anxiety, so every uh, drop-off, he has a bit of a nightmare as I tear myself away. Today was a typical day uh, like this. I finally got away and headed to the men's locker room to put my gym clothes on. After changing, I stopped for a minute to linger at the tiny window at the back of the play area to see how my little man was holding up. He had calmed down, so I was happy. I turn around to go uh, work out, and there's this guy staring at me with the most disgusted look on his face. I can only imagine he thought I was a creep who, a creep who enjoys looking in on kids or women who sometimes breastfeed in there. I tried to babble something out about my son, but he was already walking away, shaking his head. <laughs> TLDR. A <laughs> guy at a gym thought I was a peeping Tom as I was trying to see if my son was okay in daycare. Oh, that's weird. I was like, hey, mind your own fucking business. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm trying to talk to my son. <laughs> it would kind of look weird, though, if you're just peeping in. What was he like, like fucking out the corner of his eye? What was he doing? Like on the edge of the window. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> Now and nowadays. <laughs> exactly. Uh, next one is by uh, Lufus. Lucifer. <laughs> they put, so, I was on one of my uh, cleaning binges, and while in the bathroom, I decided to clean the sink. Sink was clean, but the water was draining, uh, not draining properly from the sink. Uh, it's been a while since the trap was clean, so I opened the cupboard under the sink and carefully unscrewed the U bend in the pipe. Okay. Uh, being careful not to drip any of the absolutely vile liquid into anything on the cupboard. <laughs> I removed the pipe, dripping only a little bit, so now the sink was just a pipe that ends directly above all the things in the cupboard. Shaving cream, soap, spare TP, medications, etc. Yeah, well, th uh, this was well overdue. There was so much crap in there, and it smelled really bad. I needed to dump this crap somewhere so I could clean it up. Uh, Try the, the toilet. The little, the little puddle under the cupboard. Oh, hey, here's a handy sink to tip this into. TLDR, I removed the U-bend pipe from the sink and proceeded to tip the disgusting contents into the sink straight into the cupboard below. Yeah. <laughs> Come on now. There's no way anyone's absent-minded, but hey, I guess they are. It does happen. Uh, next one is by Bella68. Uh, the fuck-up was actually about a week ago, <laughs> but it came to fruition just the other day. My husband and I have a playful relationship. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I spit in my throat. <laughs> it wasn't anything you said. <laughs> it was spit in your throat. Like, I don't know, just like, you know, when you swallow and sometimes the kids caught in your throat. <clears throat> Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds so much worse. 
<laughs> Not really. <laughs> but I guess kind of. <laughs> Alright, so he put, My husband and I have a playful relationship in which we sometimes mess with each other. One day, he, he shot to- me. <laughs> <laughs> We're so playful. <laughs> Shot me again. One day, he decided to poke me a bunch of times, then mess with me, and then ran off to escape before I could poke him back. What is he, 11 years old? Uh, exactly. <laughs> I chased him down the hall, but uh, I didn't reach him before he locked himself in the office. You bitch. I could hear him giggling at his triumph. Jesus Christ. <laughs> but what he didn't know was that I am really good at unlocking doors. He didn't know that I had a shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> this door was the easiest lock to unpick uh, to pick. Let, let's let's, let's, requ- let's take it back a little bit. You can pick locks <laughs> or open door, open lock doors. Let, let, uh, <laughs> let, let, that's a story we need to, to find out about the origin story of that. <laughs> how'd you learn? Yeah, how'd you learn to pick locks? That's not a trait you just pick up randomly. That's a necessary skill for thieves. <laughs> <laughs> or dudes that hide stuff in their closet that they don't want you to find. No, like, you what have, you there? She must have a lot of bad boyfriends, then. Apparently. But I mean, like, yeah, lock picking is like a skill you learn. <laughs> Not that whole bullshit about putting a fucking credit card in between the fucking door. Uh, no, that doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this door was the easiest type uh, to unlock as it only requires it was something. A, it was a, a Adams 1115. I've unlocked these several times. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? It required something flat to turn the slit on the outside See what of the I mean? lock. What the fuck? How the fuck does she know? I quickly unlocked the door with my fingernail and proceeded to barge into the room. I thought my husband would see me barge in and immediately remember the type of lock and how easy it is to defeat. Instead, he was bewildered. He just shouted, it was lock. I definitely locked that. He pulled his gun. <laughs> it's not that often that I, out- I outwit or outplay my husband, so I decided to keep my secrets on how to unlock the door to myself and bask in my smugness. Now to the day of fruition when the F up became apparent. My husband and I are in the office. I'm finishing up a project. Meanwhile, my husband decides to enjoy some solo time. I know I don't... He knows I don't mind. And I even enjoy the occasional glance in his direction to see how things are coming along. Right now, we happen to live with other people, including a kid. So my husband always shuts and locks the door before starting such activities. Game time. <laughs> when I put that fucking sign on the outside, when it says game, it's game time. <laughs> Everyone leave this house. This game. T- <laughs> I don't know why we do it with people in the house. Get the hell out of this damn house. On this particular day, the kid had thought of his 220th question of the day, and it was ur- so urgent that he ran up and knocked on the door. My husband responded, "Just a minute." <laughs> oh no! <laughs> But before we knew it, the door was flying open and we were faced with an excited eight-year-old already mid-question. Don't look at my dick. The kid saw the computer screen and my husband. Boy. And then just quickly shut his mouth and shut the door. Boy, oh boy. (laughs) I was shocked and asked my husband why the door wasn't locked. His only response was, the lock is broken, remember? So she broke it? She never told him that how she got in. Oh, so he assumed it was broken. Yeah. Not broken, just easy to defeat. When needed. Yeah, especially when it's not locked. <laughs> so he's just like, it's broken. I haven't locked the door. Man, I would have put a fucking chair in front of that door. <laughs> a couch. <laughs> a bookshelf. Get, get, get my business done and then unlock it. <laughs> Uh, next one is by uh, Jack Jones 116. Jack Jones. Yeah. So they put, uh, so I, uh, a 22 year old, and my girlfriend at 21 uh, were uh, laid in bed naked after a long day. I decided to put my finger near her butt crack to squeeze her butt two or three times. A way we frequently say I love you without verbally mentioning it. However, we're both weird about the anal play, and as such, fingers near the booty hole. (laughs) I unfortunately got a bit too close accidentally. It's dark, and she got a bit weirded out. Uh, Very serious and jokingly, uh, we're both very comfortable with each other, though. However, in passing, she said she was watching porn recently and never really realized how uh, how in view assholes are in doggy. I then, as a joke but serious but being serious, I said, "I can pick your asshole out of a lineup." This then led my girlfriend to uh, over four years of cry laughter, but neither in a funny nor upset way, just a strange middle ground. 
I won't lie, I'm confused. We're okay, happy, and talking, but she seems upset, yet bemused by it. I just guess that uh, she never realized how much I've seen her asshole. Uh, do I show her mine? I don't know, honestly. I'm confused. Please some help. I'm confused at what the hell we're talking about right now. What the fuck does that got to do with anything? I have no idea either, but apparently she was weirded out after he said that uh, she shouldn't worry too much because he's seen it a million times. Yeah. Well, there you go. Why are you worrying now? Why, if you didn't have to worry before, why are you worrying now? Well, apparently now she's worried after she's seen it. Now she's it. conscious of it? Yeah, pretty much. After seeing it in a porn. <laughs> well. Uh, next one is by uh, Jago Kestrel. Huh. They put, uh, all right, so this does involve me, a uh, 27-year-old male and my girlfriend, uh, but it doesn't go not safe for work because of the very how come, he, how come? How come he didn't say the girl's name, uh, age? Well, 26 is on here. Okay, I'm just making sure. <laughs> I didn't think it was pertinent to the story. Hey, man, so if they, if they, if, if, if every other one, we always hear the ages, right? Yeah. When I do it, I'm like, how old is she, bro? <laughs> hey, hey. No, I shot it though. Hey, how old is she? <laughs> uh, the only context you really need is that I uh, am absolutely god-awful at verbal communication, which is my fancy way of saying I can't fl uh, flirt worth a shit in person. I'll be god darned, because I'm not going to say that, love poet over text. Uh, but the moment I try to channel that energy in person, I choke that up. Wait, it's not say what? GD. Oh. Okay. Uh, personal reasons, people, not. <laughs> no, I'm like, I thought it was like, like no, it's no. a completely different phrase he was saying. No, they put it, but per, for personal reasons. <laughs> I'll, say, I'll say fuck all day, but. <laughs> uh. On to the story. Last night, my girlfriend and I were watching uh, Blast from the Past, a movie we both knew the gist of. <laughs> I don't know. It's a random movie. I 100% know that Brendan Fraser movie. <laughs> and I think I didn't know any other human being on the planet has seen it but me. <laughs> I've seen it like I kid you not I've seen it over a hundred times oh my god like growing up it just comes on and that's that's all we had it was Blast came. from the Past so I watched Blast from the Past oh my god it's a Negro <laughs> <laughs> I've seen that movie <laughs> a thousand times uh, but I have never actually seen it all the way through <laughs> <laughs> me neither <laughs> you share something in common with him uh, while we're uh, while uh, we're enjoying it, cuddle up in bed, you know, cute couple shit. Then my girlfriend, out of the absolute blue, says, "You know, the bed could be a bit dirtier," in a devilish, flirty way. After about fifteen seconds, I'd be like, "Bitch, I just washed these sheets. What the hell are you talking about?" <laughs> After about 15 seconds of processing, I replied with the all confidence. Uh, all the fucking math equations going to. Like, yep, yep, yep. Oh, she wants stuff. <laughs> well, he says, I could certainly use a couple of germs. As if I'm uh, as some that kind of. The music <laughs> as if I'm some kind of anti Mr. Clean sex icon. <laughs> yes. Have you I, seen. Mr. Clean has an ass on him, if you've ever checked. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, yes, I fucking said that our bed could use a couple of germs. What followed was my girlfriend being comically flabbergasted by my absolute <laughs> foolishness. <laughs> A fit of laughter that killed any kind of down dirty mood. What did hey, what did the back to the blast from the past have to do with the story? It was just a movie that they were watching. But you always you never mention something in the story unless it has pertinence to the end of the story. It's probably there's something they've seen multiple times. <laughs> <laughs> now I gotta go see Blast <laughs> tonight. <laughs> watching it for the hundred and one time. Basically. Uh, TLDR, my girlfriend said that we should get uh, the bed dirty, and I saw with all my riz in the world, yeah, it could use a couple of germs. <laughs> Horrible. He tries. This he, is, he, he has a girlfriend, so he must be okay. He just doesn't understand what dirty means. His riz must not be that bad. Just bad enough. <laughs> Just, just bad enough. Just underneath, no, just a little bit above what she can, she can't tolerate. Exactly. So she, he got, he got her. He quit. He quit. He lost it all as soon as he got. Her. Now he's a little bit under. <laughs> uh, next one is by Powder Keg Suga. So, I went with my husband to see the new Spider Verse movie, and since it was the first dinner and the a movie now? night, yeah, huh? I gotta see that. And a movie night in a while, we dressed up a little. 
Uh, I dress kind of alt goth, what have you. So I thought tonight would be. By a the really way, I'm scarred by that movie now. Which one? The, the new Spider Man. Are you? Because I I was going through Twitter and there's a dude in a full Spider Man suit and a woman in a full Gwen Stacy spider suit on a inflatable bed in the middle of New York City in the street, just did doggy doggy style in it in front of everybody. And I'm like, you dirty motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> don't you ruin don't you rule 34 this you see evil fucks <laughs> and it, I, it's, it plays in my head and it's fucking I saw it today and it's driving me crazy <laughs> alright uh, so apparently she dresses as an alt goth what have you uh, so Gwen thought... Stacy Spider-Man yeah <laughs> she dressed up as punk spider yeah so I thought tonight would be a really great night to be, to debut a new necklace I'd recently gotten from a local art and oddity shop. Its center its center feature is an ethically sourced small vertebrae. Ethically, ethic. What animal did they rip this thing out of? Or a person? Is that what you said? Is that what you said? Ethically sourced. Yeah. Ethically. <laughs> How do you ethic? Did they donate it to the people? It could be that. Uh, ethically, how, how would, why would you wear the necklace of another I, human being? What are you, Conan the Barbarian? I mean, she said she's goth, so. Goth is one thing. <laughs> uh, a fucking uh, necromancer is a whole other thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so she puts, uh, we went to dinner, had a few glasses of wine, then went to the movie. We shared a bucket of popcorn, as you do, and spilled a small handful down the front of my shirt. Whatever, I'm I started comfortable. hearing voices <laughs> behind me for some reason. Her, soul. her possession story. <laughs> Uh, whatever. So I'm comfortable. So like the absolute degenerate I am, I ate a few of the pieces that were cleaning in my shirt and cleavage. Yeah, I know uh, how similar the weight and texture uh, is when you're sober, but when tipsy, they were pretty similar. So I probably I'm wouldn't have noticed... If that particular piece of popcorn hadn't had a tether, the rest of my necklace, and whenever I bit down on it, which would have sucked for a number of reasons. Ow. Uh, we both thought it was pretty funny, though. TLDR. When I uh, went on a date and got tipsy enough to mistake a piece of bone for popcorn, nearly consumed it. Yeah. Almost released uh, Sabak. <laughs> All right, and uh, we got a couple more. Uh, one by Throw Me Up. <laughs> yep. Uh, I see this uh, was a terrible idea now, but I wanted some privacy, and I thought the shower was the only way to do it. I wanted to masturbate in the shower, but I wanted to. I want graphic as fuck. <laughs> but I wanted to avoid the water because it messes up my bladder if I do it under said water. I, I don't I don't even question it. I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm confused. You and me both. It doesn't go up your pee hole. Not exactly. <laughs> After turning the shower on, I realized the shower head was a bit too high. So, I tried to edge my way around the water towards what the shower head. What a diva. <laughs> yeah, I got jacked in a mud hut. <laughs> With mud all over you. <laughs> As long as the door's locked, I'm good to go. <laughs> the bookcase in front yeah. of it. Like a bookcase, a rock. <laughs> I wanted to lower it so I could uh, do it, <laughs> masturbate away from the water. Well, it turns out edging around a shower while the water's on is Wait, a terrible idea. Wait, the fuck are you in the shower in the first place? I, I don't know. What is happening? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what, is, what goes through people's brains? <laughs> Apparently I got, I not gotta, much. I gotta jack off, but I can't jack off in the shower. But I have to jack off in the shower. Right. So then, what the fuck are you? What the fuck are you doing then? Uh, <laughs> Did he say earlier that it was too many people or some shit? Not him. No. What the, what the fuck, bro? <laughs> he, just, he just wants some privacy. So there is people. Apparently, maybe one or two. I don't know. So uh, well, turns out edging around a water, uh, a, wa a shower while the water is on is a terrible idea. Who would have thought it? My life flashed before my eyes. First person perspective of a wall falling away from me and my hands reaching out in front of me, desperately trying to grab onto something. What do you fall? Anything that would save me. Ouch. Well, that obviously didn't work out for me. I fell ass backwards halfway through my journey, taking the shower curtain and the rail with me, straight into the hard floor. I think I actually bruised my ass on the way down, too. My back definitely hurts. Damn. But because I fell backwards, I was trying to catch myself the whole way down and didn't hit my head or anything as a result. Good. So, I'll take that as a win. Sure. I'm now going to ask my brother's girlfriend to help me pull the rail, put the rail back up. 
She's the only one here. Hence, the reason I wanted to masturbate in private. There we go. Okay. I won't tell her that part, obviously. I imagine not. TLDR. Fell out of the shower because I wanted to avoid the water to masturbate. Took the rail and the curtain right down with me. You could just won't sat- be trying that again. You just sat the toilet, you, you overcomplicated fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, honestly. <laughs> you gotta lay down on the fucking floor. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted to go around the edge of the tub. Well, he's got a, this whole complicated fucking master plan. <laughs> Turn the damn faucet on in the water and just sit outside of the bathtub. Apparently not. The uh, next one we have is Megan P1000. Megan P1000. For starters, I'm 24 years old, a female, and my partner is 21. I have become... You fucking pedophile. <laughs> Uh, have become very bland in terms of our, of our relationship, and I find myself questioning if it's meant to be. We have a baby who's coming up in eight months. Uh, this uh, what coming up on Duh. eight months? Fuck this month. I'm way too young for that. <laughs> and I think we're both trying to just make it work. The romance isn't there. Oh man! Today, after a month of no sex, I try initiating and be cute. After he asks me to ride him, I get on. Then he says he can't breathe and just wants to kiss. He can't breathe. <laughs> Big bitch. <laughs> Big bitch can't breathe. I apologize. After he goes uh, to have sex with me and Doggy, I'm get, I'm going. It's going well. Uh, I'm happy and feeling good. Then he suddenly stops and uh, says he's tired. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> he proceeds to tell me how uh, sexy my ass is, slaps it around here and there for about 30 seconds, spreads it, and asks me when the last time I pooped was, which was prior to my shower around 8-ish. This is getting out of hand. <laughs> Too much information for me. <laughs> and I know I would clean prior, especially knowing I was going to have a good ass time. I was so embarrassed, and then he went back to the computer and told his friends about it. Now I'm mortified. What the fuck? Anyways, I take it as a sign of the universe is literally telling me my relationship is actually shit. Mm. TLDR. Pooped. During intercourse with my girlfriend, and I think the universe is telling me our relationship is actual shit. I thought she was the girl. It is. The why is the guy say? <laughs> at the end. It's not. T is a TLDR. TLDR. Too long didn't read. No, no. Read the last part. Poop during intercourse with my boyfriend. Oh, I thought you said girlfriend. Okay. No. If I did, I, it was my mistake. Okay, okay. I was like, I was confused as fuck. Yeah. And apparently she's shit. Well, she's not it, it, it's like It was bad enough. It's like, you know what? This isn't great. Imagine looking down. It's like. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you already can't handle that kind of stuff anyway. Oh, really? <laughs> then again, I did go to a urinal. So I've been using the urinal at the my work because those bathrooms broken. The shit's all over there. You you, you toughen up real quick. <laughs> well, you gotta take a bath. <laughs> you gotta man up. It's a lot of shit down there. <laughs> We're going in. So we got to. <laughs> all right, and the last one is by uh, Mew TV two five three. This person puts. <clears throat> So I had a dried apricots for the first time a couple of weeks ago with wine and cheese that and like how it tastes. Fucking delicious dried apricots. Mm-hmm. Fast forward to today. I was early. Don't blow so- your asshole out though. <laughs> <laughs> I should warn you. <laughs> Is that where we're going with this? Because I could have told you that. <laughs> So I was early, so I stopped off at a grocery store before work and got some snacks. I went. Uh, I, worked I, thought, at- I, I ate them before a trip back from Mexico. <laughs> Two day trip back from Mexico. Delicious apricots on the ride back. I blew. I, I, I closed down a whole fucking stall. <laughs> they had to shut down that fucking gas station as a biohazard. <laughs> They put, uh, I work a 10 hour shift and have to be in front of my computer majority of the time, so snacks help me cope. I seen a bag of dried apricots and added them to my snack basket and checked out. In the car, I crack open the bag and start munching on them. Yeah, they're good though. <laughs> I just kept eating it until I looked down and the bag was gone. Damn. It wasn't a big bag, so I didn't see anything wrong with it. Oh, was I wrong? <laughs> <laughs> I get to work, grab my cup of tea, and sit down and get started. <laughs> 
about an hour or so my, uh, later, my stomach is rumbling. Soon, after I get out, of, uh, I let out a roaring fart. Lucky for me, <laughs> where I sit isn't around too many people, so no one heard it. Nice. Like ten minutes later, I feel the rumble again and another fart brewing. This time, I let it go and let it out and almost shat myself. Oh, I hate those. <laughs> Very carefully, I make my way to the bathroom and go. This happened to me at least seven or eight times today. The worst part is that one of my bosses came into his office today and he sits near me. He kept seeing me get up and be gone for a couple of minutes and get back. This caused him to send me an email stating, we need to talk about how many breaks you were taking throughout the day. I'm like, hey, I got a shit. I got to for your rules and regulations. He usually doesn't work in the office, so now he's thinking that every day I'm doing this. <laughs> and that's where they leave it off. Eight it's or like, nine times, man. I, I'd say like, he must be constant because that's it's like a one time. Like it flushes out everything. He must. <laughs> God dang, he must have not shit very well very often. <laughs> it it, see, it, it doesn't just go for apricots though. You don't eat prunes. You don't eat raisins. You don't eat a, a large amount of peanuts. My cousin, uh, he would eat like like shit. You not. We go. We went to a restaurant at four o'clock, and then we go back to my grandpa's. Two hours later, he had to shit it all out. His fucking uh, <laughs> metabolism is superhuman. Like he has to like just that. She's just like we gotta we gotta get going. We ain't got time for this. <laughs> like, it's, like on the car ride back, he went with that already. <laughs> like damn, bro. <laughs> like she like shits like three times a day. Eat three meals a day. <laughs> Each time. Just just a, he's like almost a fishing asshole I've ever heard of. <laughs> but don't it, it, it. Red, peanuts. I didn't know about peanuts. Yeah, the oil in them. If you eat too many of them, oh, it just straight through you. You gotta love a good shit. I've seen some people that eat like a, you know those cans of peanuts that they have, those yeah. planters peanuts. They'll eat a whole thing. It's like, oh, oh, I'll be back. I was watching that new episode of uh, Always Sunny in Philadelphia, and uh, Mac, one of the main characters, he's allergic to peanuts, but he bought a large family size container of peanuts and he ate them throughout the whole episode, and you can just see his lips getting swollen. <laughs> He's getting like he's like he's slowly dying of an allergic reaction. Yeah, but he just would not stop eating these peanuts. Like I just need more peanuts because <laughs> they were trying to cut back on their money that they're spending. Yeah, so like oh we got to cut back on beer on on all that. And he's like oh, well, I just bought a family sized jar of peanuts and that's all he ate. <laughs> allergic reaction. Or not? He's, he's just eating peanuts. <laughs> uh, I'm so glad that I don't have the kind of those kind of food allergies or anything. I wouldn't want. Uh, I would not want any of them. I wouldn't know until I got it. You know what I mean? <laughs> like I tell you, oh, you've tried enough stuff in the, in your life. You should know. I'm lactose intolerant. I think. Well, there's a lot of people that are. <laughs> They'll be blowing out <laughs> ass cheeks immediately. I definitely don't want that at your work. No milk for me. <laughs> Drink a chug of whole. Uh, see, that, that'll be the next like uh, chug a whole next, uh, fucking thing of milk. The the dare videos that will start. <laughs> it's like chug half a gallon of milk before you go into work. I can blow ass cheeks all day. <laughs> it's like damn it, no way. That sucks though. Milk is delicious. Let's see my preference. It makes cheese, me. It gives so. me strong bones. <laughs> 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 I, want, I want those strong bones <laughs> but that is everything that we got for reddit anything else to add before we head out yeah don't fuck a chicken please for the love of god no but we'll see you guys next time